This is code.org. Let's see, a challenge puzzle. Bum -ba -dum. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. Oh, I'm totally ready for this. Challenge, look for the pattern and make this code shorter using loops. Oh, look at this. Workspace, 18 out of 5. They want you to be able to do this in 5 blocks, and they've used 18 of them. Let's see what it does. Okay, just draws a hexagon. Let's see it one more time. I love the random color. <laughs> cool. All right, so how can we make this faster? Let me walk through this. Well, set width. We've seen before, It does the width change in this puzzle? No. So we wouldn't need to run this line more than once. We can just tell the computer once, hey, here's the width, and then not run again. So it would not need to be in repeat. But here we go. Set random color. Interesting. Move forward, turn right. Okay. We're looking for a pattern. Set random color, move forward, turn right. Set ra Wait a minute. Set random, set random. Let's see if it keeps going. Notice set random to move forward, right? Random, forward, right? Random, forward, right? So if I start breaking it out, let's see how many there are. And in programming, in game building even, sometimes I just write out something that I know could use a loop because they need to see it first before I understand how to use a repeat, how to use a loop on it. It's actually a really good tool to understand what you're building. And notice, okay, so here's this code one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Eight times. Yes, eight, if I could count. And so instead of having all of these blocks, because it's a ton, we can just be lazy and more efficient, right? And use a repeat. So I'm going to drop this here, drop that in there, because again, we're not changing the width. We don't need to waste time by trying to. We're just setting it at the beginning. How many times did I say? Eight, I think. Oh, so an octagon. Ooh, we did it. That one was tricky. Awesome. Onward.